So Rebecca and Holly, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, I just want to invite you to share a little bit about your project today because I know we want to let other people know what you're working on. It's very important. Great, thanks. Well, we we have begun the Ancient Graffiti Project. Uh, we started last summer with a first field season in Herculaneum, Italy, and the main goals of the project are, number one, to provide training um, to students and professors so that people uh, um, learn about ancient graffiti and what these are are handwritten inscriptions from the first century AD that have survived on the plaster of the walls. They're a very unique set of, uh, of inscriptions and of text and evidence because they were written by the man on the street who just had something sharp and maybe wanted to write his name or write a message to a friend um, and, and so they have all sorts of unique uh, issues with it where sometimes we have non-standard spellings uh, and we have abbreviations. Um, we have uh, wonderful ways to say good luck to you. Um, so the first, the first aim is to, is to help people understand um, how to study and how to use these inscriptions. And then the second major aim is making this type of evidence um, accessible to a larger public, both to scholars and to uh, interested members of the public, because there are some really fascinating insights into Roman life and culture uh, in these largely neglected um, individual writings. So one of the aspects of the project is to contribute to online resources, databases that are used primarily by scholars and students um, who already know Latin, but the Ancient Graffiti Project also has its own which will have a ser searchable database of graffiti where everything will be translated for uh, a student into English. So this really uh, allows a, a wider audience to have access to this material.